Hey, 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 everybody. This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is absolutely beautiful out here in Ohio at RV Nation. Spring finally feels like spring out here. Uh, but today I have an absolutely amazing camper for you. It is one of the finalists uh, for one of the RV of the Year awards. It is the 2022 East to West Ahara 365 RL. And this is definitely a camper you guys are going to like. This is on my must-see list, one of my short lists for when I knew the moment I got one in, I was going to do a video. Um, they are light. They're bright. They show well. They're decked out as far as features, not killing you on the price. Um, but if you guys are familiar with my videos, you know, I'm going to take about 10 to 15 minutes here, um, you know, on the inside, a couple moments on the inside, wrap this up in about 15 to 20 and as always, you will find my contact information and description uh, down in the, um, I'm sorry, geez, oh, Pete's messing up my words today. Contact information and the specifications down in the description of this video. So if you guys want a price, um, you know, that's where you can, uh, you know, reach out to me and catch it. But the 2022 Ahara 365 RL, and right when you walk in, this camper has the wow factor. I think this thing is absolutely stunning. It's got this nice light interior. It's got kind of that gray offset with the island, the black of the refrigerator and the oven. Uh, over here, you're going to see a little elevator that's on a televator that raises up. Uh, but this Ahara line, the East to West, they are stepping up their game. They're changing the game. They're, you know, pretty new brand. Um, but man, they're making moves. They're already selling an absolute ton for us. Um, so, you know, I am very happy to, uh, you know, to personally be a representative of them. Um, but yeah, it's a rear living. So we'll go ahead and start here, you know, in the back. The first thing I notice when I walk back here is, you know, you have this big open space for, you know, these windows. Um, so, you know, every, all the windows in this are a little bit taller, you know, than most of your, most of your brands. They're all going to come with the blackout shades. They're all tinted as well. This is going to be an emergency exit. So you pull that red tab, push it out. You know, you can get out in the chance of an emergency. Side windows, both with the nightshades as well. You got this really nice size couch, which will pull out to a queen size bed. So that's going to come to about right here. And you see how much space, you know, is this. And check out that flooring. I think that's really sharp looking as well. So you got a nice sleeper sofa right there. Sleep an extra two adults, no problem. On either side, you're going to see you've got the shelving right there. Um, they're also going to come with, on both sides again, two outlets and two USBs. So you have plenty of charging power for all your devices. Maybe a laptop, set up a little makeshift working area, you know, no problem. Uh, here above, you got a couple of your little clicker lights. So you can click those on and off. You're also going to find the storage. And this is all one open area from, uh, from side to side. But, you know. Some pretty good storage power back there. Put some of your little stowaway items. It is a little bit taller. Um, so, you know, someone that's a little bit shorter might struggle. I'm six feet tall and I can get in there no problem. They also do the nice decor there, you know, on the window. We swing it around. I think I'll go with this slide and then I'll, uh, I'll head over this way. But, uh, you know, right here, this is one of my favorite things in a camper is, you know, on those days where you're stuck inside, am I going to go crazy and this one does a great job of positioning the TV in a spot, you know, where you're not cranking your neck. You can lay down on the couch and enjoy the view, or you can use uh, that theater seating. But the other benefit that has this camper is obviously right now, it just uses a whole bunch of extra counter space. Now, there's a big, massive TV there. And to get that up, well, let's see here. Where in the world did they sneak that out at? Oh, well, look at that. So it's right up here. So click of a button. You'll notice it's pretty quiet. It's pretty smooth. You know, everyone on Instagram calls these the televators. I don't know if that's the official name or not, but I think that's a pretty good, you know, fitting name for it. And if you guys want, you know, short uh, videos, 45 second versions of all these campers that I do, feel free to look in the shorts for YouTube or on Instagram uh, at the RV Hunter. So you got that TV right there. Above, you got some storage with some struts there to keep that up with some actual hinges. So that's a little bit of a construction advantage for the Ahara. Not every brand, 
you know, goes the extra mile for that. Behind the TV, you got yourself that window, which is a nice little touch. You know, get yourself an added view. Solid surface countertops. Storage here underneath. You got some outlets there to the left. And then this is going to be your controls, you know, for your stereo. So you can play, you know, music inside, outside, both sides. The electric fireplace. This thing has a setting for 100 degrees. So when you set that up to 100 degrees, it'll heat this entire area, you know, no problem on a day where it's 40, 45 degrees out. That'll really knock off the chill. Two big boy speakers as well. So you can get this thing bumping. You got yourself an oven. It's not the largest oven, you know, in the game. It's definitely not the smallest though. It'll be good for, you know, some minor baking or maybe a couple, uh, you know, some pizzas. Three stovetop burners by Furion, so a really nice and trusted brand there. Again, check out all that counter space. You also have a good looking backsplash. LG microwave like you would find in your home. And then up and around, you have a lot of nice storage. So the left side and the right side are both going to be the same. Gives you a nice little view of that. Then you got some storage here tucked up and above. Uh, the oven, you can see left and right are also going to be the same. You got a storage with your welcoming packet, a little TV remote. Then you got that right there. There also is another little pull-out drawer, you know, underneath the oven. You got this island kitchen here, which I think is really sharp looking. I love the color to the tones that they used. I think it's also looking nice, good decor aspect. And as you go up above, you have these nice residential looking light fixtures. Uh, and you also got, you know, whatever they call this is just looking sharp, especially when you add in, you know, that accent lighting really adds to the ambiance, I believe. Nice wide island, a little bit wider than most of your brands. Usually they're going to be cut in like this. So it really adds, you know, to that counter space, that cooking area, uh, just the versatility and the use of the unit itself. Drying rack, like so many brands are doing. Get that little foldable, you know, doodad there. Single stainless steel undermounted bowl with a residential high-rise faucet there. So you can hit those dishes around from all angles. Good storage here up underneath. So you got two of these, bada bing, bada boom. You got yourself a place for a garbage can. Access to your plumbing underneath the sink and also some storage. And if you guys like RV videos and you're finding it helpful and you guys have made it this far, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could hit that subscribe button, that like button, maybe drop a comment. Uh, with some things that I can do differently next time. I did get a recommendation to say the weight out loud. And truth be told, I forgot to check that. So I do apologize, but that'll be down in the description. 16 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So this is a very nice feature. It is a more residential, uh, you know, refrigerator, but it's also the 12 volt. So it'll run off, you know, the battery, the truck while you're driving down the road. You don't have to worry about shutting off you know, propane when you're driving through any tunnels at your state parks uh, or well, just tunnels in general for safety. Uh, so that's pretty nice. You also have this really nice pantry setup, which I absolutely love. You know, this is very similar to the 325 RL by Ahara. Um, you know, it has a lot of the same features, but this is obviously just a little bit bigger. Definitely encourage you if you need something a little smaller to check out that video. Um, now these drawers right here these are removable so you can add them you know you can pull them up pull them wherever you want also down here you're going to find out you got a couple outlets so i've seen some people make some pretty cool little coffee bars out here you know put a keurig in there a couple places for some drinks some snacks or you can totally remove it and use it as a little hanging closet now this storage up here is a little hard to access you know if you're a little vertically challenged uh, but you know, it's pretty high up there even for me. And like I said, I'm six feet tall. But uh, yeah, you do have it. You know, better to have it than to not. So we were talking about these nice, big, tall, you know, wide windows. I know I got the 
uh, the nightshades down, kind of getting the half Dracula going on. But check out the height on these slides. You know, again, I'm not a super short fella, not a super tall fella, um, but you get some good head height. I'm thinking probably around, you know, 6'4", six, 6'6". Six, six. But what that allows you is to walk into there, not bonk your head when you're getting into the table or sitting down on the chairs. But it also gives you these really nice, big, beautiful windows. And, you know, that is something that a lot of people when they're shopping, maybe for the first one, don't really take into account how important it is. You know, those rainy days are going to happen and seeing the views while you're out there, not missing out while you're cooking dinner. You know, that's that's part of what it's all about. And, you know, this camper's definitely got it going on. You got yourself a dinette table or two chairs right here and a booth right there. All of these have storage there up underneath. Um, so you get some real good use out of that and a little bit of extra storage there, which is always nice. You got these Allure Furniture, um, geez, oh, Pete's, why am I blanking? Uh, recliners. You got yourself some cup holders and a little place to put some controllers. These are also all power. So, you know, a couple clicks of a button and these are moving in and out. You're also going to see it's got some USB ports again, so that way you can charge your devices. But that about does it for this portion uh, of the tour. Now I'm going to head up into the bathroom, which I think you're going to absolutely love. It's got that nice double sink there. I mean, look how nice that thing just shows up. That is just a good looking camper. Oh, well, might as well show you this too. This is going to be your control area. Um, so your Max Air, you got a Max Air that's sitting right up here helps circulate maybe when you're cooking or just get some fresh air on those rainy days. All your slide out controls, your lighting controls, water heater, pumps, all that good stuff. And these are also going to be, um, you know, where you control your heat and AC, you know, all in one central place, which is nice. These stairs right there, you got a little bit of a cubby there underneath, maybe kick off some shoes, shove them under there, but you also got your fuse box. I do like how the Ahara went ahead and added on the grab handle. So if you have some issues, you know, kind of getting up and down, you got a little bit of extra help. Very sturdy there too. Again, that's a good little view of that flooring too. But this bathroom, I think, is going to be a game changer for this brand. They're really going for that kind of Cedar Creek look on this. But you got the the couples um, couple sinks right there. So you got two sinks there. Boom, got those bowling muscles, baby. Six-time league champ, about to be seven. So we hope, got the finance guy, Derek, coming into his own. A couple of our buddies, we're all crushing it. It's a good time, it's a good time. Got some more storage behind that shower. Uh, but I love the fact that it kind of split these into two. I know the sinks aren't overwhelmingly large, but, you know, you're still in a camper, and you having two of them, you know, is very nice. Outlets right there, and then storage is going to be the same left and right. Uh, so I'll just show you this one. Then you got four of these here down the middle. I'll show you that. You got the Dometic uh, foot flush. Little octopus buddies just hanging out, waiting for some coats or some towels to hang up on those tentacles. Sorry about that. My bowling buddies actually must have had their ears burning because uh, Log Dog, a.k.a. the glue to our team, our first guy up, gave me a call and it disconnected my video and I was trying to decline it. So thanks, Logan. There's your shout out, bud. Good size shower here. You also got yourself you know, a little place for some natural lighting. And you have some additional storage. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. All three of those are going to be the same. All three of them are just as massive as this one. That is a nice feature to have. You also have got that fan right there, which needs to be cleaned up. So we'll take care of that. But uh, yeah, yeah, it keeps things circulating, keeps things moving along. Pocket door. And that brings us to this big, beautiful bedroom. And I love how they're doing the bedroom. I think it's looking sharp. I think the gray and the white, you know, it's looking, uh, looking real good. On either side of the bed here, you're going to see you got yourself outlets and usbs and then outlets and usbs you also got two windows uh, and a little shelving yeah everything you could really need you also have a third place right there um, for 
you know, your AC, all that good stuff. Looks like this unit's got three ACs, which is always nice. You do have some storage here up underneath, and I like how they did the drawers instead of that pull-up. So you got two of those. An area for a TV backer, so you can hang a TV right there. You also have some outlets and some place for your cable and satellite. Nice size window and a little dresser. So you're going to get four of those bad boys. This customer opted to put on the uh, washer and dryer, so they're probably going to be using it a little bit more than most. As you can see, they also vented it uh, to the outside. And you got this really nice size closet. Place where you can hang up some clothes and, you know, pack away for a real nice long trip. But that about does it for the inside portion of this tour. Now I'll just head around the outside. Probably about three to five minutes there. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just kind of more show it off. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, liked what you got out of this, this would be a good time. Hit that like and subscribe button again for me. Again, this was the 2022 Ahara 365RL. And I think just from that picture alone, it is just a beautiful camper. All right, now we're around on the outside. So you're going to have two awnings. Phew, just got another phone call. Made me nervous. You got two awnings, one right here, one right there. That's how they ordered this camper. You got this absolutely massive pass-through storage. It also shows off, you know, some of that aluminum construction there. Um, but having this is a huge perk. I mean, this thing is, you know, it is obviously massive. I am not a, I'm pretty, a, I'm a chubby dude. And I'm sitting in this, no problema. Propane number one behind that door. Propane number two would be on the other side. Six-point auto leveling, so that's always a perk. You got your step above steps right here. So solid entry steps. That's pretty common on fifth wheels these days. But those flip up, you know, right into the doorway. You got a place where you want to hook up a TV you know, on a table sitting out here, you got outlets right there. You are good to go. You have a fully walkable roof on this bad boy. So the Ahara is putting on the ladders, which is becoming a rarity these days. A lot of brands are going away from the ladder. They're claiming a ladder shortage. You know, I don't know how true that is or if it's another one of those, you know, COVID casualties. Um, you'll also see here they put on... The slide out awnings, those are about 700 bucks a piece. Uh, very nice feature to have. The Ahars come with a receiver there, so you can, uh, you know, put on a little bike rack or something, uh, something special to, you know, maybe some extra storage. Backup camera prepped, you can add one of those on, 550 smackaroonies, and you get about a four and a half inch screen that you can suction cup right onto your windshield and see what's going on behind you while you're driving. Slide topper here, slide topper there. So they went ahead and decked this bad boy out. Back end of the water heater. Oh man, I use both hands there. But so this is the back end of that pass through storage but it's also gonna be your docking station. So you got your different valves. You got your different valves here. Uh, that should be the cap lights. Uh, but you got your different valves, your city water connection, black tank flush, you know, really everything that you need to winterize and then a spray port as well. Propane number two, your level up is right back behind this. Just one button, auto leveling. You got a place right there where you can, uh, you know, you can get this bad boy gen prepped if you'd like. Put a generator in there. Room for some batteries or some storage. The reason why this camper had such a big closet is all thanks to this Rhino box. It allows you to change the front and really add on, you know, a lot of extra. I believe it's 15% more uh, closet space. But there you go. Show you that with the with the lights back on. But that about wraps up this tour. Again, this was the 2022 East to West Ahara 365 RL. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Stick around. I'll see you next time. See ya.